Hi everyone, so let's talk about the testing and here in this video we are going to talk about the testing of services when services are dependent on external interface or third party library or a third party storage service. So consider these examples, uh, your NestJS service can be simply depend on a type ORM repository, a Mongoose model or a Prisma model. Some kind of a repository system like a Prisma client will be injected in your NestJS service and you will be doing all the different operations or type ORM repository will be injected and you, your NestJS service will be dealing with the data. External interface, let's say uh, you are calling an external HTTP interface, right? There is a HTTP call you are making, you are making from your service, right? So this is an SJS service and it is further calling an, an external HTTP interface. Then how this testing will be, will work, right? Because you need to mock the, uh, you need to mock the HTTP service, which is helping us to make the call. Uh, NestJS provide HTTP client, uh, which can make a HTTP external call using observables and Rx library. Third party service, let's say you are doing, a, you have an access to let's say Twitter API where mm -hmm. you are passing a client ID and a secret, passing the Twitter client ID and secret ID and it will be accessing the Twitter interface, right? So I can create a mock version of this and I can just, so I, I, I have to write a Twitter mock service also, like the test cases for the Twitter service also. And when I'm writing a test cases for this, I need to write a mock implementation of this third party Twitter service. Similarly, we can have a external storage service like a Redis, Elasticsearch or anything. We just need to write a mock version of those services so we can write a test. So it's all about mocking. So first we will take a look on to this HTTP call and then how we can write the test cases for the type ORM repositories. So we have divided this uh, this section into two videos, actually part one and part two. In part one, we are going to just uh, talk about how we can mock HTTP service. Let's say you are writing a controller and you are writing a service and that is that is calling an external HTTP endpoints. Okay, then how can you mock the HTTP service? And the next thing is, how can we use the create mock and auto mock? These are the new utilities which you can use where you don't need to worry about mocking the actual HTTP service. So even all your dependencies which you have in service can be auto mocked using create mock utility. This is so this is my cat service. You can see what it is doing. I have a dependency injection of HTTP service which is coming from HTTP module. Here you can see NestJS axios. This is HTTP service is coming from there and the important thing in the next JS, it is not promise based, it is observable, observable based. So here you can see HTTP.POST, what it returns, it returns the observable of Exios response, similarly GET, so you need to actually subscribe it. Here we are just returning the dot .pipe, I mean the, we are just returning the observable stream from all these methods. And what we are doing in these methods, we are calling the HTTP interface. So now let's see how we can mock the HTTP service and test all these methods. So we are testing a cat service. So here we will write a before each block that is a sync block because it will be creating a NestJS testing module. And inside this we will just create a const module equal to await uh, test dot create testing module and in this we pass the dependencies like okay what are the providers so provider here we have a cat service and inside this we will say so these are the list of providers the first provider is a cat service and here we will override the implementation, provide HTTP service. So inside cat service, we have HTTP service and we are going to mock it. So we'll just say use value and inside use value, we can mock all the methods. So what all methods we have, get, put, post, patch, delete, all the axios methods which we see. 
right and here we can get the instance of service here we need to compile it dot call compile so we can get the module instance and here we can get the service service equal to module dot get cat service so we got the cat service instance and HTTP service also that we can get using module dot get HTTP service okay we got the instance now we can just write uh, assertions for it okay the service is defined the basic assertions we can add here that service is defined even we can also check the HTTP service is defined first test and now here we will start doing the mocking what we are going to test we are going to test the create method find all method or get method let's see if I try to call this particular method find all what it is returning it is returning uh, I need to mock this HTTP service get method and I need to return the multiple cat and uh, then I need to compare the result with the outcome from the mock so let's do that inside our service spec here we will first define the array which we are expecting so let's check the find all method so find all method means uh, first we are just saying okay this is the data which we will be receiving const data of type tcat this is the model and this is an array and inside we have just a few properties inside an object okay this is the cat which I want to receive in my mock this is an array and here exios response will mock exios response of tcat array okay and this is this response looks like i mean how the exios response looks like it contains the data uh, headers config right if you can see the type also it contains data status status text headers config now now i can do the mock on uh, on exios method just dot spy on this is how we have done till now http service so we are spying on this particular method get and we are saying dot mock return value mock return value and here, here we are saying is what return values we should get now it's important find all what it is returning it is returning observable of cat array right so we also need to return the observable data why so it is complaining mock mock return value okay it is there now it expects an argument and we will provide it so it should be an observable right so we can use off operator from rx it actually converts the data into an observable and in this data we have this data property which is let's say we are passing this object and expecting that okay this is the mock data which we will receive argument of observable is no sir not assigned to unknown any let's check this and here we also need to pass the headers so this is the data then we have headers let me see what it is expecting so this is HTTP service get right mock return value it should return this data the closing brackets were not proper just dot spy on get and mock return value this is the data which we are returning that means this is the observable data which you are returning and inside this if you go to service what are we doing we are accessing the response dot data and we are mocking the whole response which we are getting so your data property should contain that cat array now we have the actual data and we also did a spy on so now we can just do service dot find all 
this service method we are going to call on this service we already have a find all method dot find all subscribe and we can compare because find all in actual sense is giving a observable stream and find all is calling HTTP service dot get which we have already mocked which is giving us the observable stream this stream and this data contains already that cat array which is already same as this mock value so we are just comparing the response dot data coming from the observable stream so now we can do the same thing for the another method like find one uh, i need to just i hope i could have a more bigger screen so i can show the whole code because i always need to minimize things it should return all cat it should return cat by id one cat by id because there is a find method we are calling and this is the method find one right so that is also calling get this is also calling get here it is returning array here it is returning a single cat because here it is calling cat by id so the code here is it is calling find one subscribe so inside the service find all we need to pass the id like okay what is the id uh, we are passing so we can because it's just all mock and it is going to return this data as an object and the same we can have in the mock it's just an object this is the mock data and it is giving us the data and this is tcat simply an object we are spying on this right now that is simple right it is we are just doing a find one find one again calling HTTP service get which we have already mocked and it is giving us the data like this and in the final response if you see find one we are also returning response dot data so we can compare the same like response would be equal to the response dot data so this is the find one similarly should return a new cat when you are creating it so we can mock the post method HTTP service dot post and we can check if it is returning the correct data or not so here I'm running the test and it looks fine we are able to pass the test now let's try one more test and then we will move to the create mock utility so here let's try the create so this is the cat object this is the cat DTO this is the response we are expecting so here we need to mock the post method axios dot post mock return value so here what we can do is we already have a mock payload so we can just do is of observable of this response this is what uh, uh, HTTP service dot post will return and now we can call this method service dot create here we are doing spy on first to prepare the mock data and then do the mock and then trigger the actual method create so in the create we have to pass the create cat dto and we are subscribing to it so if you see this create method what we are doing we are piping and then we are getting the response back same thing we can check here so here we can subscribe and we can compare that's it so this is how we can actually mock the HTTP service. Now let's take a look on the part two uh, in the next video.